Hi, I'm Anthony Georgeson, principal bassoonist with the Florida Orchestra. The other musicians and I are honored that of all the things you could be doing right now, you're here spending this evening with us. We believe cultural events should be affordable and accessible, and in support of this, we've rolled out significantly lower prices this year. The response was immediate, and we've been happy to see new faces at every concert. At the same time, being accessible is about more than just ticket prices. It's about engaging with our community. I'd like to highlight a few things we're doing to demonstrate our commitment to making our music accessible to Tampa Bay. Music is a great teaching tool, and the orchestra is partnering with two major sports franchises to introduce school-aged children to the arts. 23 years ago, George Steinbrenner, through the Tampa Yankees Foundation, created a holiday concert program, which we present annually on both sides of the bay. For most of these kids, it's their first exposure to a live symphony orchestra. We're glad the Steinbrenner family is continuing to partner with us in bringing music into these children's lives. The Tampa Bay Lightning is committed to building a stronger community, and they realize the arts, like sports, can unite us. This year, we joined forces in October to present a new program for elementary age students, which centers on the theme of teamwork and how orchestral musicians and athletes must work together to reach their goals. For all these concerts, students were able to attend free of charge. Gifts to our annual fund help support programs like these, which will allow over 13,000 Tampa Bay children to hear the orchestra perform this year alone. For me, this first trip to see my hometown orchestra with my school in Madison, Wisconsin, put a dream in my head that I wanted to be a professional musician someday. Not all my fellow classmates followed that same path, but like me, they remember that day vividly. In addition to focusing on our local community, the orchestra is also involved in projects that showcase Florida's rich cultural heritage and they're drawing national attention. In January, the Tampa Bay Times and the London Financial Times reported on our recording project, celebrating the 150th birthday of composer Frederick Delius. His music was deeply influenced by the folk songs he heard while working on an orange plantation near the St. John's River. We plan to release these recordings through Noxos, the world's largest distributor of classical music, and we are proud that an orchestra from Florida gets to share this piece of our state's music history with the world. There has been a lot of buzz in Tampa Bay with the opening of direct flights to Cuba, and the connections between Florida and the island nation are a fascinating piece of our area's history. This past fall, the orchestra announced its plans for a cultural exchange program with the National Symphony Orchestra of Cuba and the Amadeo Roldan Music Conservatory in Havana, which will spread over the next few seasons. Why Cuba? Well, when the Cubans brought the cigar industry to Tampa in the 19th century, they also made a huge impact on our arts and culture. The orchestra wants to explore the musical roots of this piece of local history, and as a cultural institution, we are able to open a dialogue with the Cubans through the universal language of music. Going to Havana in September was one of the highlights of my career with the Florida Orchestra. Even though I don't speak more than five words in Spanish, I was able to communicate on a very personal level through the works of Mozart, Villalobos, and Weber. Every year at this time, we announce the programs for next season and encourage you to buy tickets. Ticket sales are important, but in terms of our overall budget, they only cover a third of our costs. The Florida Orchestra has made a major commitment towards making its concerts accessible for the community, but we will only succeed if our patrons support us by making a charitable contribution to our annual fund. How much you give is up to you. Gifts of all sizes are truly appreciated. To make it easy, we've inserted an envelope in tonight's program for you to use when you send your contribution. Know that your gift will make it possible for us to spend many more evenings like this together. Thank you again for your support and for helping us bring live orchestral music to Tampa Bay.